Greetings YouTube, my name is Alex and I am the Reef Dog and today I'm going to take a look at Reeftop's high-end aquarium covers. Now rimless tanks are all the rage at the moment and they do look fantastic but so many of the fish we keep are notorious jumpers so a cover of some kind is more or less mandatory. There are a number of off-the-shelf options like the unbranded DIY cover, the DD Jump Guard and the new range by Red Sea. For my money, the Red Sea cover is the best of the rest. It sits within the footprint of the tank on a small lip, which gives a cleaner look than a black frame sitting on the glass. And you can buy extra corner pieces to go around things like light brackets. As a budget option, they're great, but they're still dark in colour, you have to build them yourself, and there will probably be small gaps around any light brackets, so they're imperfect. So enter reef tops. These are high-end bespoke aquarium covers. Now they are significantly more expensive than the other options, so they won't be for everyone. But many of us reefers want the best when we've bought an expensive tank that's designed as a great looking piece of furniture, as well as a great aquarium. Reef tops are made by a precision CNC cutting machine from a single sheet of polycarbonate, which is more flexible than the aluminium frames the alternative options use and is much stronger. Supposedly you can hit it with a hammer and it won't shatter, although I'd recommend you don't see that statement as a challenge. There's no DIY involved, it arrives fully constructed and ready to go, so there's no faffing around trying to get the mesh tension right. I've been there a few times and it's a total pain in the backside. Now because these are transparent, they're much more inconspicuous than the other options and that makes all the difference to the aesthetics. You can also specify cutaways for feeding slots, light mounts, powerhead cables, weir boxes and so on. Although in my opinion these covers look best with as few cutaways as possible. The cover rests on top of the tank on a small lip, which makes it look almost invisible and makes it very easy to take off the tank. They're slightly heavier than the standard covers, but they're still very lightweight and they don't visibly sag at any point. The fit is perfect and much better than you're likely to get with a DIY cover. You do get a bit of condensation and salt creep on the underside, but it wipes away in seconds and you hardly notice it anyway. Now when I say a cover is more or less mandatory, I really do mean that. Fish that are known carpet surfers include clownfish, gobies, wrasses, hawkfish, mandarins and scooterblennies, antheas, firefish, and so on and so on. If you've got an open top tank with any of those fish, it's probably a matter of when, not if they jump. And speaking from personal experience, there's nothing worse than getting home to find your favourite fish has tried to do a free willy. Because reef tops are so well fitting, your fish would have to develop opposable thumbs to escape. So it's probably obvious to you that I love these covers. And if you're thinking there must be a catch, well you'd be right. They're roughly £100 for a nano tank or £350 plus for supersized tanks. Mine was 4 feet by 2 feet and cost £200 plus £25 postage and packaging. Now for that money you could get a stunning SPS colony and a perfectly decent red sea cover. And only you can decide if this is worth it for you. Rimless tanks with no cover at all look stunning, but reef tops are absolutely the next best thing. And if, like me, you've been looking for a transparent cover that's as close to invisible as possible, reef tops are the answer. Now you can get these covers through Facebook and I'll put a link in the description so you can go and check them out. That's all for this week then, if you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up and check out some of my other content and until next time I have been the Reef Talk. Thank you, good night.